That day, I was sitting at home, fixing a fishing net. I was heavily pregnant. I heard a loud noise like thunder. The sky wasn't dark. We saw a fishing boat going out to sea, battling against a huge wave. It was the tsunami, but we didn't understand that then. A man came running, shouting that a giant wave had struck further down the coast. We ran away towards the main road, but couldn't make it. It was so fast. I was swept up by the water, then jammed against the house. I saw a small three-year-old boy float past calling for help, but I couldn't reach him. There were nine pregnant women in the village then. Only my baby survived. So we called her Tsunami. Tsunami saved my life. Without her, I may not have lived. I have to sell food now. My husband goes out fishing. Sometimes I go with him, and my daughter helps me by selling the food. The money we earn is just enough for our daily needs. In the past, we had a big business. Our clients ordered tons of fish each day. Nowadays, we no longer have a big boat for fishing, just a small one, so we can supply only small amounts of fish. We don't have much money for investment as we did in the past. Many people said that I only survived because of my child. They tell me I'm lucky. But I never stop thinking about it. It's still on my mind. Sometimes I sit in the house and wonder, what if a tsunami strikes again? What should I do? When I start thinking like that, I get so carried away. Some families can let it go, but I lost so much, I just can't. <laughs>